a girl who has enlightened mind and prudent vision won't be able to live in the world of her ancestor. Raden Ajeng Kartini. Hello, my name is Yuliana, as mahasiswa berprestasi in diploma program from Universitas Tidar 2022. In this video, I will bring issue related to the point five of SDGs program, and it's about gender equality. And the title is Women Empowerment in Indonesia through Information Technology. In the modern era, information technology is quickly developing and affecting to our segment. Nowadays, many people tend to focus on information and communication technology, and they become proficient in operating IT devices such as computer, the internet, and social media. Even though information technology is already powerful and advanced, but the technology is still unable to connect the gap in our society. The gap in our society is a perspective that assumes men more proficient in using IT. So, information technology is still related to masculinity. According to the research from Google Indonesia in 2019, the number of Indonesian women accessing the internet was lower than men. In the research mentioned that only 37% of women admit to use the internet. So, the role of women in IT development is still minority compared to the large number of men. This is because there are still many perceptions about IT for women in developing countries, which is a luxury thing that difficult and impossible to be accessed. Whereas, the perspective of gender policies should lead to the transformative era. Gender policies consist of empowering women, giving them the opportunity to control the technology that determines what they need and supporting them to achieve their goals. Empowerment of women is an effort to building the ability and self-concept of women through the process of awareness and education. So, it can improve the welfare for themselves and their family. This woman's empowerment helps women to find their potential so they can actively participate in society. However, it's still forgotten by our society especially in marginalized area. Marginal area concerned that every woman should look after the child and the household. From this perspective, social and cultural norms seem to be the biggest obstacle in Indonesia and other developing countries. An existing patriarchal custom and culture make women left behind. Whereas, information technology shouldn't create a gap between men and women. On the other side, it can be an effective way to empowering women in all segments. The existence of globalization which requires every community to have skill and ability for gain themselves. With this gap, women will be trapped in the circle of marginalization forever and will be eroded by globalization. In anticipating the impact of globalization, women must be able to take benefit of technology to compensate the change. To support this activity, training and information are needed for women to increase their potential. So, we would like to invite you to help empowering women with the power of technology, especially by using social media. Social media is so popular and widely used by surrounding people such as Instagram. One way we can do to support women's empowerment is through Instagram by joining at pedulipuan.id account. By following the account to support women's empowerment, we know how women develop themselves, get feminine tips, and learn soft skills through webinar in Indonesia. So, with this program, the Indonesian people will be aware of empowering women in the era of globalization and reducing patriarchal gaps in our society. Thank you.